Martha Hodes makes this point very convincingly in the book, that Lincoln's death was viewed very differently in the moment that it happened versus how we view it today. Obviously, over time, Lincoln has developed a, a legacy of great emancipator, one of the greatest American presidents, savior of the Union. Uh, but remember, there was a considerable amount of people in the country who did not like Lincoln, uh, who, had, who had fought against the Union, uh, who had cheered that Lincoln had been assassinated. So there was an outpouring of, of national grief, but I would say it was predominantly more in the North and West parts of the United States. So that's an instance where I think we today reflect upon Lincoln as this great national hero, and we assume in his time that that was how he was commemorated and remembered, but this just wasn't the case. The other piece I think is, is worth mentioning is because of the telegraph, because news could travel much faster than it did in George Washington's time. Now there was some national mourning. There were over 400 mock funerals up and down the country in 1799 and early into 1800, which today we find kind of weird, the concept of going to a funeral with an empty casket, but it was a very important part of the ritual at the time. With Lincoln, because that news could be shared so quickly, mm -hmm people could mourn in time with each other. And that was especially poignant because he was shot on Good Friday and he died on Saturday and then Easter was Sunday. And at a time when most Americans were pretty observant Christians, most, not all of course, but most Americans, that resonance of that time and the fact that they were able to have that mourning as they were going to Easter service was shocking and added, I think, an element to Lincoln's mythical status. 